Hey, Vinyl Community, um, it's Chris from Germany. What's up, VC? I have a lot of vinyl, and uh, I think I have to stop buying vinyl um, because I'm scared. I'm really scared. Uh, we're listening to Sade's Lover's Rock from 2000. You see it up there? Wonderful. Um, first of all, let's see. Um, I made a few deals uh, over Pop Market, and this is uh, one of uh, those deals. It's the Foo Fighters, nine albums uh, at one great price. Um, one by one, uh, there's nothing left to lose, of course. Uh, the Greatest Hits, Wasting Light. What's that called? Uh, Echo, Science, Patience, and Grace. In Your Honor. Um, Everlong. No, not, not Everlong. This is. How is it called? The Color and the Shape, of course. And this is the debut album. I have this repressed and I will uh, sell this because they're all sealed. Still. I had no time to listen to it. Uh, there's a live album. What I listened to yesterday. It's wonderful. Um, I have it on the stack. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Then, I made a deal. I told you uh, I bought a couple of those uh, Smashing Pumpkins Melancholy boxes. You see them right there. Uh, I bought uh, a few of them because they were so cheap, they were under 40 bucks. So, I bought them. They're sitting on my shelf for a couple of uh, months now. And today I took one of those into one of my local shops and uh, traded it in for a used record, which is a first press Michael Jackson Dangerous double LP. Awesome. I love it. Original inner sleeves. The condition is really, really good. Very nice find. Love this record. Oh, I love Sade also. This, I was looking for this so long. For such a long time. This is the Studio One Disco Mix original soul jazz compilation uh, featuring uh, some of my favorite reggae tunes, uh, including Willie Williams, Armageddon Time, uh, Ethiopian, Muddy Water, uh, Lloyd and Steven, Push Push, and so on and so forth. This is not available on vinyl. If you ever find it, please grab it. If you find one, um, and I do not believe you find any copy um, you, you will not find it on Discogs or something and this is brand new it's it just set there in the store where I traded this so this is another um, this is another item I traded in for the Smashing Pumpkin stuff and the third <clears throat> the third record I traded in is the Whorehound record by The Dead Weather. I only know the first one. Um, it's a third man release, of course. I love it. Um, I mean, I mean, I, I love the third man records, uh, of course. Um, I like the first one a lot, so I just uh, jumped on this. Uh, another brick in my tortoise vinyl collection. You see, this is the original plastic sleeve. Um, pretty cheap on eBay. Like it. Oh, this is the Foo Fighters Live album I was uh, talking about. Skin and Bones. It's like half acoustic. Um, it's nice. Uh, a lot of good songs. Everlong, February Stars, Big Me. My Hero Walking After You and Marigold, which was always one of my favorite Nirvana tunes, the only tune that uh, Dave Grohl wrote and sang. It was um, a B-side on the Heart Shape Box single. All right. By the way, my shelf is a mess. You see all these sleeves and bags and, 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 and uh, packages for uh, records? It's not good. Um... Original press on Matic for the People, REM. German pressing. Love it. I found this yesterday. Speaking of 90s uh, soul music, by the way, Sade. Um, it's Janet. Janet Jackson. The Velvet Rope. It features uh, 
of course, uh, God Till It's Gone featuring Joni Mitchell and Q-Tip off of A Tribe Called Quest, of course. Um, and believe it or not, this was, in this condition, €3.50. Goodwill. Um, this is <clears throat> a... Hmm, it's a project. It's one of my favorite uh, record labels, by the way. Uh, where's the... Oh, uh, ah, here. It's always in the front of the covers. It's more music out of Berlin. I talked about it because I have a couple of records that I really love. Uh, mostly every release is great, but uh, this one especially here. It's Duo 505, Walzer oder nicht. That's a German title. This uh, combo is uh, B. Fleischmann and Herbert Weichselbaum. Uh, those two are straight out of Vienna, Austria. B. Fleischmann is one of my favorite electronic artists. Uh, he does solo releases all, also on more music. Love it. So, um, another brick in my Roots collection. The Roots I got over. I uh, shot this for 8 bucks on Amazon.com. Uh, accompanying uh, some uh, more, uh, I think, another Roots album. And uh, oh, it's coming. Love it. Very good. Mm, that's from last year. It's Seekers International. The call from below. Um, Rob Eobelox, you will you will love this record. I mean, it was on sale on a website. I saw it um, and I, I immediately jumped on it. it. It was only twelve bucks or something. It's still sealed. I have this digitally uh, since last year, and this is ex experimental uh, dub music. Um, so good. And I saw this is on clear or colored vinyl. It's colored vinyl. Nice. Nice. Another more release, uh, you see the sign, more music. The Wooden Birds, Magnolia. And this is uh, from, uh, it's a side project by Andrew Kenny. Uh, and he's the singer, guitarist, whatever, from the American Analog set, if you know them. He also did an EP with uh, Ben Gibbard off of the Death Cab for Cutie or uh, Postal Service. And um, another release on more music. Uh, I'm always the other side here. Uh, more music. Uh, beloved Lalipuna, our inventions, uh, members of the No Twist and stuff. Uh, awesome electronical indie music. Mm. Those records are really cheap, new, in Germany. So. I think this was $7.49, $9.99, and the other one was also $7.49 something, okay. Uh, this was $20.99, but it's, I had to get it. It's uh, on clear vinyl, it's Johan Johansson, a uh, guy from Iceland, uh, modern classical composer, awesome guy. I love his records. Uh, this is a re-release uh, available on vinyl for the first time. Um, his other album that he only released on 4AD back in the day, around 2006 or something, it was IBM and User's Manual. And I emailed Johan and he answered me and said that the other one is going to get or to see a re-release also later this year or in the beginning of next year. So I'm excited get this. It's limited on his own label. Jens Legmann, a uh, compilation of some of his b-sides from the beginning of the last decade. I think it was 2004 or something. Uh, of course, if you ever need a stranger, uh, Julie and a higher power, uh, when I said I wanted to be your dog. Very good. Uh, this is a recommendation by Mark Gardiner. Um, he's also on YouTube and the Facebook page. It's the solo album by Conor Oberst. And of course, he is Bright Eyes also. Uh, I have the two Bright Eyes albums I talked about. Um, I'm Wide Awake It's Morning. It's one of my favorite uh, singer-songwriter albums. And this is, this is really good. It was cheap and I jumped on it. And I really like it. Thank you, Mark. There's another Mark recommendation I have here later. Um, uh, okay, Sufian Stevens, I also got this from Amazon.com for, I think, 10 bucks, 11 maybe, double album, double vinyl, 
uh, black vinyl. Awesome. Uh, checking out my new MoFi sleeves. Not too, too easy to handle. What's up? Mm, jump on this. Oops. Sorry. Jump on this also. Classic. I had I had this from the day of the release uh, on CD, of course, all the CD singles and stuff. This is a classic uh, French band Air, and this is their album Moon Safari. If you do not have this, buy this without thinking about it. You have to have it in your collection. Okay. Mm. Kendrick Lamar, one of my favorite hip-hop albums of the last 12 months or so, um, Good Kid, Mad City, um, what should I say, I think uh, it was it was shown here a couple of times, this is also of course on black vinyl, but um, this is so good, I don't know, I don't know what to say about it, it has also the bonus tracks on it, which I think is very nice. The vinyl is pretty hard to get your hands on. I don't know why, but... <coughs> uh, Metallica. I won this on eBay. Uh, and it was kind of a mistake. I didn't want to bid on this. And then it came, and I, and I said, whoa, okay, take a look at this. It's in good condition, but where is the record number two? Because this has two records, okay? So it only had record one, which makes no sense uh, when you buy a double vinyl album. And then I emailed the seller and it was totally okay. He was a pretty cool guy. And uh, he uh, transferred my money back and said, keep the record. So I keep the record and listen to the, sh the, uh, the Eye of the Beholder uh, for uh, a, a trillion times in a row. Rising down the roots. Awesome. Also on black vinyl, I guess, of course. But not on black vinyl is the second recommendation by Mark Gardner. And it is Jay Maskas. In one of the best and most beautiful packages I've seen in a long time. It's so well made and the card is so good and uh, it's it's great. I love this record. Thank you, Mark Gardner. Jay Maskus, Several Shades of Y. And I jumped on, of course, the purple, yeah, I think it's purple purple vinyl version. It was really cheap on this cock, so only 10 bucks plus shipping. Okay. Good. Um, that's it for now. Um, as I said, I spend a lot of money. Uh, I spend a lot of money on Blake sleeves. I just ordered Blake sleeves. Uh, they are pretty hard to get in uh, Europe. I ordered them with bags XL. And I hope they're coming uh, these days. I'm thinking of buying a washing, uh, a vinyl washing machine. There are some good washing machines, uh, affordable ones, and I really think about um, buying one. Uh, since my father has a big collection also, and uh, it makes sense just to buy the thing um, instead of uh, doing it by hand or uh, renting something like that. Uh, but there's a bunch of vinyl coming in uh, be excited. Uh, I am excited. The Beatles stereo box. I, I, I ordered this. Maybe it was a mistake. Um, and some other stuff too. So I hope I can do another video soon. Thanks for watching guys and see you soon. Bye.